Hello to the Citizens of the World Charter Schools community. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laura Furlong, and I'm excited to be stepping into the CEO role at Citizens of the World Charter Schools. We are one of few national networks of charter schools that are founded and led by women of color. We seek to reflect and celebrate the diversity racially, socioeconomically, in our communities, within our students and our staff. For us at CWC, our ultimate goal is that our students not only thrive in school, but feel a strong sense of belonging. When I think about the problems that we face in our world today, and when we think about the problems that we'll face in the future, known and unknown, what gives me hope is our schools and our students. CWC schools are doing things differently. We're approaching the student learning experience differently. When you walk into any CWC classroom, you'll see three things. The first is rigorous core academics, but you'll also see strong and deep social and emotional connections across students, across staff, between staff and students. And lastly, you'll see students and staff building connections across lines of difference. They're focused on how can we work together in our classroom, in our school community, to think about what we can do as a community together. Our students are gonna graduate from our schools as leaders, prepared to solve complex problems, prepared to work across lines of difference, prepared to solve the problems that we don't yet see. And that's what gives me hope. When I think about my own education growing up in Boston, I wonder what it would have been like had I gone to a CWC school. I was one of few kids of color in my school from K through 12, and I was always so conscious of my skin color, of being different and yet it was never talked about, it was never discussed. And I sometimes wonder, had we celebrated diversity, had we talked about how different perspectives can bring value to our community, what might have been different? Over the past decade, we have built proof points across the country for what an excellent education can and should be diverse schools where we educate the whole child and where we have safe learning environments where all students feel a sense of belonging and where all students thrive. Imagine what the next decade could bring. We need CWC schools in our society at this current moment. We're at a point in our society where we're seeing increasing polarization where the us and the them are growing farther and farther apart and the problems that we're facing aren't getting any smaller global warming, pandemics, structural racism, being really good at math or science isn't gonna solve these problems alone. We have an opportunity to change the conversation in our society, in our world, so that we are moving away from this us versus them and more towards what can we do as a community to build each other up, to solve problems together. We're developing the next generation of leaders who not only have the ability to bridge the gap between the us and the them, but we'll also have the skill sets to understand different perspectives, to see a problem differently, and to find a new way to solve that problem together. We see the student learning experience as an opportunity to prepare students to lead in a diverse and global world. And when you talk to our students and hear how they're driving their own learning, how they're asking critical questions, considering other perspectives, you can't help but be hopeful. Thank you to each and every one of you at the CWC school community who have been alongside of us in this past decade. I'm so excited to lead this organization forward. There are so many exciting things on the horizon for Citizens of the World Charter Schools.